Oh, dude, I was finished recording the video and it didn't record the entire time. I'm so retarded, bro. I'm I'm mad, bro. I'm just gonna record again. Anyways, um, before I start this video, I just want to say these. I've seen a lot of YouTubers make challenges on these because it's quote unquote spicy. It's not. I was actually munching on this before I started making the video before, and it was not spicy at all. The only thing that you need water about this is the fact that it's so sour. It's so sour. Other than that, it's really good. It's really freaking good. I could actually munch on this all day. Man, it's just sour, but it's really good. It's not spicy at all. This is hella dry. So, what's going on guys? It's Shirley Life. We're coming to you guys with a brand new video for today. Today, I'm going to tell you guys a story about me that happened like three weeks ago around that um it happened before my christmas break it was um finals week in my class so um if you guys already know in the title about an accident happening like an inch from me it's really bad um it could we i almost could have gotten caught in the crossfire not just me but the tense i don't even know how many people in the bus but yeah um them tag is got stuck on my teeth before i say anything more i should actually explain how i traveled to school because um it takes me two hours to travel to school, which is hell, but gotta do what you gotta do. I walk two miles to the bus stop, and in from the bus stop, I ride a bus to Port Authority, and then ride another bus to my college. So yeah, um, it was finals week, so I was super tired, because I was studying all night last night, and I was um, walking two miles, right, with a heavy-ass bag. Yeah, my bag is really heavy. I almost shot it I, Oh my god, that was almost a triple. I'm so bad, bro. Basically, I was hella tired because I lacked sleep and I was actually carrying a heavy ass bag with me the entire two miles. So, yeah, I was in the bus. I was listening to the Meryl Twins' freaking live stream that was already recorded. It wasn't live anymore. But I was listening to it and. Hit marker, of course, what's new. But yeah, I was really tired, so I was like half asleep until I was I actually fell asleep completely. Uh, not really, I still knew what was happening in my surroundings. But I was like, I knew, like, I was like 80% asleep. So I still had an idea of what's happening in my surroundings. I can still hear Nessa and Ronnie speaking in my ears, but I didn't really understand what they were saying. Oh, he, he lagged, bruh. Okay, so I was like sleeping kind of, right? And the g bus was really going fast. It was going like 70 on the 55. And if you guys know in New Jersey, it really, the speed limit isn't really that high. But we were going fast for the speed limit. Yeah, we were going over the speed limit. Don't blame me, cops. I'm fr I wasn't I wasn't the one driving, all right? We're going fast for J NJ standards because the highways in this, in this city or in the state aren't really big. Even though it was going fast, it didn't feel like dangerous at all because the bus driver was in control and stuff. I'll, I'll be it. Don't overspeed, guys, please. Be safe. Anyways, back to the story. For some reason, the bus starts breaking over and over. I was like, okay, this is weird. But I just like, I just slept through it because I didn't think it was that, like, it was that important to notice. I was like, okay, maybe he's, it was just a little bit of traffic. Little do my dumbass know an accident is already happening in front of me. So I woke up because the the freaking driver slammed on the brakes hard as hell and I was like yo what the hell I was like I almost flopped in front of my, the seat in front of me on how hard the brakes was and the other reason I woke up was because the people screaming because I I I can still hear them because Nessa and Ronnie weren't really speaking that loud in the broadcast so I could still hear what's happening Look at the KD of the my teammates, bro. Of course we're losing because of my dumbass teammates. I was still half asleep when I heard the screaming because I thought it was just in my dreams. Because I heard Nessa and Ronnie talking and... Get the hell out of here. Oh my god. So yeah, um... Get the hell off me. And so I woke up when the brakes were slammed really freaking hard. I was like, oh damn. And then I already knew something bad was going on after that, but I didn't know it was that close to us. It was in front of us. Two two freaking cars hit each other. One was a small ass Corolla, and the other one was a big ass SUV. And the Corolla was like going so fast. We were like this, right? And he was like in the barrier, hitting, going on the other side. But we were in the same part of the of the highway, on the freeway, whatever you want to call it. We were in the freeway, so. This is us. This is the barrier, right? We were going this. 
and the car was like going this while hitting it and the front of the car was destroyed it's totaled of course it's totaled and the suv the suv is in just as bad a shape as the corolla was and what's crazy was it was in front of us we were like so close to it but the bus driver saved it he like pressed the brakes and then switched lanes really freaking quick and everyone like applauded him for that like everyone's clapping loud as hell the accident i saw the car flying like i was in the right left side of the bus in the middle of the in the middle i wasn't really in front so i, I couldn't really see what's happening in front of me plus i was in the window seat because i there's no one beside me so i was in the window seat so i can't really see what happens on the windshield so i didn't know until the i saw the car like six inches or maybe even less away from me i just wish the people who were caught in that accident was is safe and like i just wish they're alive i know the cars are totaled and you can't really do anything about what and you can't really do anything about that like it's material things can be replaced but life is just something that you can it can be replaced so treasure your guys life be safe on the road and don't be stupid i could only assume that they were in a hurry so if they are in a hurry please don't be like them um if ever even though they're alive i don't know if they're alive but even if they are don't risk it like i know you guys even if you're late like being late for like a few minutes or even an hour isn't worth not being there at all like don't risk it just be safe on the road don't be stupid and just remember that you hold multiple hands in your multiple hands on your life remember you hold multiple lives in your hands so don't be selfish take risks on the road just be safe follow the rules and prevent things that can be prevented because if it can be prevented just do your best to do so yeah just be safe in general in anything not just in driving but th just don't do stupid things that's what there's a reason why it's called stupid like it really didn't it, um hit me what was happening until like a few hours of it happening i was like oh damn i could have actually died well that was that's an overstatement i think i wouldn't have like died died but like there was a possibility there was a high possibility of me dying because if we were caught in the crossfire i don't know what would have happened um luckily the driver saved us and i'm blessed to be alive or i'm blessed to not be in that accident at first i was like meh but i after a bit i started to get perplexed on what happened like i was hella baffled and i'm doing bad because i'm trying to tell a story like without stuttering and play at the same time not working for me right now dude keep stealing my freaking kills are you serious it's a hit marker of course i'm gonna just jump off this bridge like i'm done like this gun bro it's supposed to be the strongest gun in the game but what the hell is happening bro it's not even shooting one shot like i'm shooting like yeah you should shoot you should aim higher like screw the hell out like get the hell out of here like i don't even know what that means like the springfield dude i was so spoiled by the springfield in world war ii but yeah um i hope you guys like be safe on the road all right like <laughs> don't put yourself in the situation as those people in the accident i hope they're fine like and i hope they if ever they did something wrong or if ever it's avoidable and they didn't like do their best to avoid it i hope they learned their lesson and i hope i just hope everyone is safe man like, for real for real i hope everyone is safe i hope nothing really nothing bad happened and yeah um i just hope they're safe so yeah i hope you guys enjoy stay safe out there um my video last week if you guys didn't see it it was me just talking to you guys like heart to heart talk about me being honest to you guys on how youtube is right now and how my life is in general and how i've been feeling the past few weeks or months so yeah um there you go so a lot of people a lot of youtubers have been doing this so yeah i want to get a thousand subs as soon as possible so if you guys want to subscribe you know what to do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you guys don't if you guys didn't enjoy you know what to do you can dislike if you want subscribe if you're new thanks for watching stay awesome be safe out there peace out people have a blessed day everyone Thank you.